Hey, it's Clay Trader, and the markets just opened up. I'm going to try to catch some live trades here, so I will uh, keep you updated with anything that uh, catches my eye and uh, that I decide to try to trade. Going for some shares. Well, I guess I already got them at uh, 58.90. I'm looking to sell those at uh, 58.95. You can see pretty uh, bloody morning so far, but bought right down here around the support, so I think it can at least head back up there. And there I am out for $50. So let's see if I can uh, catch some more here. And wow, look how much that shot back up. But oh well, it is what it is. We're going to pick up some uh, D A N G, some dang here at uh, 960. Did not give me any there. You can see just big old red candle here. And now it's bounced back up, so that's the move I was looking for. But I just unfortunately uh, didn't get anything. So I'll uh, I'll keep you posted. I'm going for some uh, dang down at uh, 9:35. We'll see if 9:50 can fall. You can see a uh, big bid in right there. Uh, but if it does fall, I'm hoping for a pretty big kind of collapse where I can uh, catch the bottom uh, and then get a bounce. But like I said, that order just only got bigger now which makes sense, nice round number. So um, could have had something at 951, but I'd just like to buy into a more of an overextended chart if possible, but maybe 950 will be uh, the current bottom here. Uh, but that's also my rationale. If 950 does fall, then I would expect uh, a pretty big move to the downside just because uh, it is that round number uh, right at the, you know, the 50 mark. Um, but held up there, so we'll see uh, if it can fall, and I'll try to, I'll try to catch the break uh, regardless, that way you can see, we can just watch how it reacts. Uh, but uh, at this time, it's back up at 60, so I will keep you posted. Hovering back here around the 950, so let's see if it can fall. I guess first let's see if 951 can fall, because that's still the, the current best bid there. And now things are slowing down, so I'm just I'll pause it. I'm not gonna let this video drag out just waiting for action to happen like this where you know there's not even a trade on the table. Okay, here we go. 950 is getting hammered pretty good here, but still holding. Still getting hammered pretty good. Getting hammered real good now, but they're like I said, big A lot of sellers over here at 51 though now too, so that's something to keep in mind here. 950 there, it's trying its best to put up a fight here, but a lot, a lot of sellers over here at 951 now. And look at this, it's fighting. Wow, what a fight 950 is putting up in there. It is finally has fall, fallen, so let's see what kind of move now to the downside we get. Perhaps the selling pressure spent, nope, there we go. There's the bigger size move, would like to see it. I have an order in at 935. So that's to pick up 1500 shares. Actually, it's falling pretty good now. I'm gonna change that down to 930. Just because the momentum really seems to be picking up here a bit. So I think I can get 930. So let's see what happens here. There's 35. So I'd have probably been filled at this point at 35. So if anything, I guess we can paper trade. There's 32s. All right, well, this video is dragging out, and we're, here we go. Maybe getting close here now. Okay, I'm in. Look to try to sell at 9:35. Uh, if I need to buy some more, then I will gladly do that. Uh, as uh, you know, I have plenty of capital left, considering this is only a basically a nine-dollar stock. So let's see what happens. Uh, video is not almost at five minutes, so I'm going to pause it right now. And if I decide to buy some more, or 
uh, looks like I might get filled uh, on an exit, then I will be back, but I don't want this video to drag out too long. Just I'd like to capture a couple more trades than, than just this. Well, we're making some upwards progress now. Let's see if we can... Uh, So 33 now seems to be the little little roadblock. Now 30. Do you see that big seller at 32? So that doesn't make me feel uh, doesn't make me feel warm and fuzzy. But we'll see what happens. So I'll pause it and let you know if anything um, new happens with the trade. Okay, I'm looking to pick up some more shares here at 9.10 and 9.11. Um, might have missed my opportunity there. This thing, I, as you can see, very overextended here. So maybe I missed my opportunity there. We'll see. And I did change my order to uh, uh, nine nine dollars thirty three cents to get out. So we'll see if it can drop back down there. But again, order to pick up some shares at nine ten and then uh, nine eleven. There's that big order again at 9.22. So 9.22, uh, you know, somebody wants to sell there. All right, uh, missed it, but I just took a $15 loss on it. I would have made a good little lesson there, but uh, 9.29 and then 9.30 just had a massive order on it. So I just figured, you know what, this is probably acting as resistance, had this moving average coming down here. Um, so what I didn't want to see was it to roll back over, uh, and then it was just wouldn't have worked out. So I just put in an order to sell at 9.29, uh, took a $15 loss on it, and yes, now I could have gotten out with a gain, uh, you know, nothing huge, but uh, at the time, it, you know, it would have made a much better example. But it, everything was happening kind of quick. It just made more sense to to just take the small loss. So uh, just sold it for $15 loss. I'm up $35 on the day after the Facebook trade, um, and now you can see, hey, it would have worked out perfectly, but. And I never did get any of the shares down in that area. Uh, it never dropped quite as low as I wanted to within a few pennies, but just didn't work out. Um, so there's a loss there. Uh, I'm going to try to catch some more and uh, try to wipe away this $15 loss. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, going for some shares here short at 58.42. What I'm happening is to catch this as it continues to go to the downside. Maybe a little bit late now. And looks like I am as it pushes to the downside. So just a little slow on that one. I'll keep it there, see if uh, trying to bounce up and then see if it pushes back to the downside, but I'm just going to cancel that order. Uh, I went for the move that I thought would happen and it did. So I'm not going to sit here and, and try to catch that now. So I'll keep looking for one. Have an order in the short at uh, 58.60. I have 400 shares, 600 shares. And see if they can give me, nope, gonna have to go with 600 shares. I'll look to cover those at 55. So I'm not looking to cover, uh, what did I say, 600 shares at 55. And I am out, so what was that? Uh, 600 times five, so $30. So there we go. Um, now I've wiped away uh, my loss. And when I we started, I was at 50, then went down to 35. Now I'm up at 65 on the day. So uh, nothing to brag about in terms of, of gains, but at least you can see and learn from the philosophy here that, you know, $15 loss I took, and now it's, uh, you know, been wiped away by that $30 gain. So, and it's not like a $30 gain is impressive at all, uh, but hey, it, that's why you want to keep your losses small because non-impressive wins can still wipe away those losses. So, I guess that's kind of a, a, a phrase to look at it. Uh, if non-impressive wins can wipe away your losses, then you know that you're, you're keeping your losses good and small. So I guess that's the lesson there. And I'm just going to wrap this up. Um, you know, it, it'll be good to put out a realistic video, you know, $65 in basically 30 minutes. So this morning uh, just didn't really work out too well. Um, actually, i probably going to want to trade here, so let me pause it.
I have an order and a short at 58.70. So if it fills while I'm wrapping things up, we'll watch it unfold. But uh, if you want to learn how to trade like this with discipline and no emotions, uh, you know, the charts is the key. Over here, candlesticks, I offer many courses on this. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the videos uh, or on the links below the video. If you're watching this on my site, just go up and click on the course store and uh, you can see all the courses I offer. Also have a, a chat or a trading group with a chat room, uh, a newsletter where I send out my weekly scans. Uh, very cost effective. Everything I think is very fairly priced. So check that stuff out uh, and hopefully uh, you, know, you decide to uh, learn more about charts or just you know, learn about risk management and discipline and just eliminating emotions from trading. So thank you for listening and hopefully you learned something.